Hello and welcome to another Make and Mingle tutorial video. Today we are going to be making embroidery hoop sun catchers. Now this is a potentially messy craft project so you may want to put down newspaper or work on a protected surface such as working with a tablecloth. Um, I'm not using anything because I am relatively careful when I do this. I do know I made a little bit of a mess last time, but I feel confident I can clean it up relatively well. Watch me spill my glue mixture now. Anyways, so for the materials you're going to need today, you're going to need an embroidery hoop. Our embroidery hoop is about 8 inches. You can use whatever size you would like to use, uh, but we're working with an 8. It's decent size, not too large, but it's not too small either. It gives you a little bit more to play with. Uh, it is a wooden embroidery hoop because the glue is going to stick a little bit better to it, but you can use a plastic if you would prefer. We're just going to be using regular uh, Elmer's glue. Um, it's actually a white glue that is not Elmer's, but it's the same, same difference in my head. Um, to adhere the uh, wax paper to this, you could use a hot glue gun to do that and it would probably work just as well and then if you use a plastic instead uh, the hot glue gun will probably work better though it might melt the plastic use it with caution you are also going to need tissue paper cut into pieces and just varying sizes they can be small they can be medium uh, those pieces that we sent with our kits are largely in like uh, relatively square pieces. You can work with those or you can cut them down a little bit more and give yourself some odd shapes. Um, this is going to be some patterned. I have some plain white in here as well as some green and kind of a tan brown. You can use whatever colors you'd like. You can use as few or as many. Um, just be careful to be mindful of the space that you have to work with. So if you decide that you want lots of color, recognize that you're not gonna have a lot of space then. <laughs> um, I also have wax paper that will fit my embroidery hoop. I have a disposable, empty disposable cup, and I also have a, another disposable cup that I have filled with water. I also have, as I mentioned, white glue. Elmer's glue would work fine. I have a little stick so that I can stir, and I have a paintbrush to be able to apply. I have a couple of feathers. And I have some sequins to add and you can use any kind of embellishments you would like or you can choose to not use any embellishments other than your um, your tissue paper so the very oh you will also need a pencil because the first thing we're going to do is lay down our embroidery hoop and a scissors pencil and a scissors and use our pencil to trace around the outside and it can be kind of difficult to see it so make sure you lay down a good amount And if you hold it up to the light or the window, you should be able to see it very easily. You might be able to see it on a light background um, table. I would show you in the camera, but I doubt I'm gonna be able to get that to show up. So I'm just going to cut it out. So for the part that the screw part was at, I just didn't go all the way around. I just stopped right about there. And then I just eyeballed it to cut that last bit. But as you can see, 
fits just about right on there. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to set aside my tissue paper. So what we are going to do now is we are going to make a watered down paste with our white glue and using that water we set aside. So I think that's probably a decent consistency. It's really hard for me to catch that on camera, but it's, it's still relatively watery, but I can feel the thickness when I stir, but it's not goopy. And the reason that we're mixing that water in with our glue is that we want to have something thinner so that we can create that very light see-through um, mixture that when we apply the tissue paper with the um, glue mixture. But now I have my glue mixture. I'm going to just go ahead and dip my um, paintbrush right in there. And now we can go ahead and start applying our tissue paper. And I laid out mine a little bit to get an idea. Um, one of the tips I'm going to pass on is that when I was doing this, I just went ahead and would lay them right off the edge. And I also made sure I layered stuff a bit. I also wanted to have mostly uh, green and the pattern. But it looks like I have a lot more of the tan than I did last time around. So I think I might end up putting more of that on. All right, I kind of like that layout. I am going to go ahead and start applying my mixture. And I am going to do my best to keep it almost completely just on the tissue paper. As you can see, I have a bit of a mess on the outside here. And it will bead up. It's not a bad idea to have some paper toweling handy to clean that up a little bit, just to gently dab at it. And you do want your tissue paper to be completely soaked to make sure that it is going to stick to the wax paper. So I'm going to tidy up the droplets, I guess you could call them, because I don't like how they look. You might find that you do not mind how they look, or if you did, basically you covered the whole thing, you will find that you don't have, you, you don't see a lot of that. Um, yeah, so that is that stage. Next, we are going to go ahead and add some embellishments. So in the test that I did, I actually dipped the feather in, but I think I am going to 
not do that this time. I want to shape my white feather a little bit because it looks kind of funky in my opinion. And I just want to shape it a little bit, I think. I may not like how that looks either, but I want to try. Well, the one side is now rounded instead of straight, and then this side is just doing its own thing. But, um, as I was saying, I actually painted, I dipped the feather in when I was trying my version, but in our youth department, Miss Sarah laid hers down, and she just added a little bit of glue to the outside to help keep it down. I would make sure you get a good dollop right at the base, because that's gonna be one of the heaviest spots. But other than that, just a light a little bit around the edges. And I'm going to very carefully dab up a little bit of this, just because I know I did a lot. This is very much a collage project where it isn't about perfection, it's about creativity. And here is my other feather. I think I'm going to put it right there. Oop, move it slightly so it's in that drop I had. And carefully help with the edges. So, as I said, I dipped the whole feather in when I was trying this on my own. And I wasn't very impressed with how it ended up looking. But... I liked this system. I think that works pretty well. Now I have a couple, I have a big sequin. It's supposed to be like a leaf, but it looks pretty feathery to me. I'm going to plop that over here. And I'm gonna add a second one. On this side, I have it kind of go that way. And I do have some smaller sequins, but I think I'm going to leave mine without the small sequins. You're going to want yours to have the chance to dry a little bit before you do your last step here. But I am going to do mine when it's still a little bit damp. And because I just went ahead and layered right off the paper, I am going to go around and trim my edges. And as I said, this is easier to do if you fully let your tissue paper dry. So once you have trimmed your pieces, your next step will be to apply glue to your embroidery hoop. Look at your hoop, see if there is a side that looks nicer. Mine are both about the same. I'm gonna take my glue, and I think I already threw away my stick. The stick is gonna be very handy. So 
So I'm going to very carefully just apply my glue all the way around the outside. Doesn't need to be super thick. So I am going to spread it out a bit. Do just a little bit on this side. It did dribble down there, so I'm gonna clean this side up really quick where it gets all over. All right, so I just put that glue all the way around the outside and I am going to just spread it out. This will allow me to make sure it's not too thick, not too wet. All right. And then I'm going to flip it onto my paper and I will adjust it to get the best fit I can and push it down all the way around on the outside. And all that is left is to let it dry. And then once it's dry, you can attach some string to it to then hang it. And that's it. A very simple, fun, easy, messy craft because sometimes you just got to get a little messy and it's nice to be able to have a craft that you can just turn off your brain and play around with and then hang and it just brightens your day. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns down in the comments section, or you can email bpearson at marshfieldlibrary.org. The email link is found right in the description. Have a great day.